Hello and welcome to MIP TV. And with me as always is the wonderful Bob Cook, the man of letters and <laughs> and in this case books. And we're going to be looking at a really interesting book and, and one I think that needs a little bit of care. That's the sense I get because, you know, the, what what's talked about in the book, <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of fables and fantasies and misinformation. Share with us the title of the book, Bob. The title of the book is Interpersonal Diagnosis and Treatment of Personality Disorders. Yeah. Now, diagnosis is a particular element of transactional analysis. It's not something we would have in person-centered therapy. But in, in, in TA, the train, there is a module of training, isn't it? So just tell us a little bit about that, just to put the book in context, Bob. Yeah, sure, I will. And um, just before that, um, you know, tell me if I'm right. Um, uh, I, and, and I'm not sure whether, you know, well, I, I am right, I think, but I'd like your take on this. Um, in this country, in the UK, there's no governmental legislation and licensing to be a counsellor and psychotherapist. And since about, you know, the mid 90s to 2017, you've had um, the two major regulating bodies, UKCP and BACP, um, striving to get licensing. Now, in the, I think it was 2002, might have been a bit earlier, the BACP and UKCP were talking together to get a definition uh, of what's the difference between counselling and psychotherapy. Yes. And they only came up with one, <laughs> one difference, could you believe? Yes. Yeah. And the difference was this, um, that in counselling training, it was in the training, um, and that was that in counselling training, there was no teaching of how to work with psychosis and personality disorders. And in the psychotherapy trainings, of course, there is. Yes. Um, and is that correct? That, that is correct, yeah. In, in, it's certainly in person-centred therapy or in, even integrative therapy where you talk like CBT and person-centred. Um, there is no um, diagnostic element in, in, the counseling in, 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 in the counseling world, yeah. So this book really, though very interesting for counsellors, of course, you know, interesting what you were just talking about. Um, it is it is aimed really at the psychotherapy training market. Mm. Um, so for for us, uh, not just transactionalists, I was thinking other disciplines, especially in the uh, more psychoanalytical disciplines. Um, we, you know, the trainees have to know, and it's very useful for people post qualification, mm -hmm. have to know how to work with people with personality disorders. Now, it's true, I think, that you wouldn't take on somebody who's got a personality you know, diagnosis for disorder, I mean, for some time, even after mm -hmm. qualification. Mm -hmm. I'd agree uh, with that. Yeah, so, so that's, that's another story. But this book goes through. Really, what if we look at the DSM-5 that psychiatrists use in this country, which is the, which is the Diagnostic Statistical Manual Five, mm -hmm. just that or came out last year. You've got you've got certain classifications of personality disorders. You yes, know, like we know borderline, histrionic, schizoid, paranoid, obsessive compulsive, narcissistic. You know, we've got certain classifications. Mm. And in the psychotherapy training, specifically in transaction analysis, you're correct, but I was thinking of other disciplines as well. They look at these different classifications and talk about um, a treatment plan mm. of how you would work with, let's take, say, the borderline personality disorder, for example. But I've just said there's a list, of course, more, different, more. Yeah. And yeah. it says, right, if, you, if the uh, client falls into certain clusters, then we will diagnose them or uh, say borderline, for mm. example, and then they may suggest a certain treatment forward of working with bo borderlines in the DSM-5, for mm. example. Now, in the psychotherapy training, our institute there's often quite a detailed treatment planning, specifically from TA anyway, how you might work with, say, the borderline or the histrionic personality, and of course the pitfalls um, and the areas to keep 
away from as a therapist. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I think, you know, when we, when we hear about personality disorders, I think, I think it's quite a harsh phrase, certainly for someone who is struggling with their mental well-being. You know, I think a better phrase would be a outlook of the world you know, mm. where people's outlook of the world, and, and certainly with borderline, it's my understanding that it's, it's the, the, the clue literally is in the name. It's, it's the borderline between someone being kind of like the worried well where they've got everyday issues, but cross it over into psychosis where they may yeah. be disconnected or um, right. disassociated from reality. Yeah, that's a, that's a good way. So what this book does, it goes through at least six classifications uh, for the sake of this book, we'll call them personality disorders. Though I really like your your your, your other word mm. um, for the world. I really like that. Yeah. Or early emotional confusion could be another word. Yeah, yeah, this. yeah. Yeah. Uh, but for the sake of the book, um, it goes through these different classifications and talks about what clusters you would look out for. You know. Um, so, say, for example, if you're talking about paranoid, whether in this case, personality disorder, you'd be looking for things like suspiciousness and jealousy and mistrust, and they would be themes you would look out for. Now, the major difference, if we're going to look at, say, the worried well to personality disorders, is probably to look at it in terms of a continuum of health. Mm. So in the neurosis or worried well, they, they've got more, or if you like, they've got more in touch, well, connectedness, I like that, that I like that mm. term of yours. In transaction analysis, it would be, they have more of a robust adult, or they're more mm. in the here and now. But with personality disorders, they're dis, more disconnected, they're not in touch with the here and now, and they there's more of a break in reality. Mm. And they're more fixed in the way they see things. And... Uh, their psychological mental processes aren't so flexible mm. as 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 would be with the uh, neurotic well. So you have a sort of continuum of health from one sphere yeah. to the other. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think you know when you start, we started off by talking that you know one one of the major differences, as I I think, between psychotherapy training and counselling training is that you know I, I think I think even I, I will be as bold as to say, counselling training sometimes riles against diagnosis and yeah. there's there's an element i think of of colleagues in the counseling world who who kind of rally against that um and um you know think that think that this is more of a medical model less of yeah. a social yeah. model and you know they're entitled to their opinion and more labeling <laughs> yeah more labeling and, and and i think you know that's a whole different debate we could have bob um but yeah so the the book itself helps people diagnose it's it's a, is it dsm is a very clinical very in-depth book is this more of a an introduction would you say yeah yeah you are dsm 5 is really for psychiatrists as you say mm. um and it's it's very sort of yeah medical model if you like this is more of a more of a general sweep um more introductory yeah. it also is looking at themes and patterns mm. that you would look for with each particular in verdicts of commas if you like here personality disordered people who out of touch with reality more and who have more fixed patterns and themes and once those have been identified how you might work in terms of treatment planning going forward with that mm. type of person even if it's only as basic on how to help a teach a person how to ground themselves yes then they find themselves disconnected yeah. yeah or how to help a therapist do grounding techniques yeah when a person is got having a psychosis in front of you yeah yeah i mean that's something that you know happens a lot i, I sometimes teach the three finger technique getting someone how to count count three fingers and bring their brings their kind of cognitive level up and, yeah. and manages the, the 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 kind of limbic system, but I, I think one plea for this, and and I know it's your book review, Bob, but I'm going to make a bit of a plea here. Too, yeah. Is is that you know clinical assessment is a real discipline and it's a taught discipline. You teach it and you teach it really well, Bob. Yeah. Um, my worry would be that people would rush out and buy this book and all of a sudden, you know, 
in the same vein as someone might say, how to be a heart surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, I understand where yeah, you're coming yeah, from. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand where you're coming from. Um, I, I, I hear that. Please, it's not. It really isn't. I really wouldn't wouldn't want people to do that because no. then they would be doing uh, a set of techniques or doing psychotherapy by the book, and they would find themselves in real problems. Yeah, absolutely. Course, mm. Unless you focus on the relationship first, mm. anyway. Mm regardless of whether this is treating personality disorders or not, mm. you've got great problems. Yeah. Um, so I really respect that plea. Yeah, and also I think it's about supervision. And also I think it's, a, you know, I think, I think, you know, I know TA supervisors would understand treatment planning, would mm. understand that. Counselling supervisors may or may not. And, 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 you know, coming from the counselling world as I do, I know a lot of people listening to this are really eager to be the best for their clients and really want to work hard and, you know, really want to be the best they can be. But, you know, some things I think need training and support. And, you know, generally speaking, and I'm speaking generally here, the counselling world, as we said earlier in this, doesn't, um, doesn't do a, that kind of an assessment. So, yeah. you know, I think it's useful for, for your students in training. In terms of assessment and formulation definitely if you if you're being supervised using it and if you're being taught how to do it yeah <laughs> absolutely and you know I, I i like point of view in treatment planning but i'll also give a plea for formulation now formulation is much more around um doing assessment through narrative hmm. in other words uh, the story yeah, uh, yeah. person. So I like formulation as well. But this is a good book yeah. to, to particularly teach students and post-qualifying therapists themes and patterns yeah, yeah. that emerge from different classifications. Yeah. So yeah, so maybe just in terms of just being aware mm. of of you might get a client who's you know you're working with and all of a sudden you, you know, you, you realise they may have a personality disorder. That could be, for someone who's not trained in treatment planning, a referral opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, let's just take two of these, the narcissism and schizoid. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is a two classifications. Yeah, yeah. Most people have heard, perhaps, the word narcissism, you know, a uh, sense of entitlement, a person who will be the centre of their own universe and tends to be a... This is unhealthy narcissism, a person who perhaps lacks empathy. We might be thinking of an American president here or not. I don't anyway. know, I, I, I have no idea who you're talking about, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we think of, say, schizoid. Now, schizoids are people who are withdrawn. They're very internalized. Yeah, yeah. They're people who are very disconnected. They're people also very adapted to the therapist. And how would you how, how you would work with those two classifications would be very different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's interesting in itself. It is. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I see that, and and I think I think you know, no knowledge is wasted. Um, you know, as I say, I think it's I think it, it's it's from my understanding. I've been taught counselling. I've never talked to you at, at practice level, but I, I would say that it, you know it does need uh, a guiding hand, and certainly the the wise hand on yeah. the tiller of supervision. Oh, a lot of supervision. Mm. For these characters, you will have a lot of supervision. Yeah. You have to. Otherwise, my, you know, otherwise you'll be in deep, deep, deep uh, problems. Yeah. Um, no, you definitely need a lot of supervision. If you're going to take anybody who's got a personality disorder on, you need a lot of supervision, and it's in-depth therapy yeah. of quite a long length. Yeah, and I'm aware that we might have people watching this book review who have personality disorders. and I think what, I, what I'm gaining from this is just just how much care and effort and training goes in to helping a client mm. who maybe because it is a struggle it, it, it is a struggle it's undoubtedly a struggle oh very much so and you know the way the national health service is today mm -hmm. it's not geared up for long-term in-depth no, residential it's psychotherapy it's not so bob as usual we bob doesn't get paid for doing book reviews or indeed sharing his wit and wisdom um, but interpersonal diagnosis and treatment of personality disorders um, by Lorna Smith Benton, I think it is, is it? It's Lorna Smith Benjamin. Benjamin, I can't read me on writing. 
Sounds like a must-have for anybody who's doing clini clinical competencies. Yeah, well, it's an interesting book. So, as as always, we'll put a link in the in the comments bar below, and I'll put a picture at the end um, so people can have a look. And uh, as always, Bob Cook, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed.